Good morning students. Our topic for today will be all about the multicultural literacies and teaching strategies in preschool, elementary, and high school. Welcome again to our class discussion. For this morning, this topic will be aiming to first identify the different teaching strategies in preschool, elementary, and high school. Internalize the importance of teaching strategies and multicultural literacies in identifying the creator's knowledge. Write a composition expressing their thoughts on how they can use the teaching strategies. By that, students will act it out in the class. Okay, so we have here the six strategies for 21st century for early childhood teachers. Okay, so we have one. By the way, before I start for the six um, strategies, the early childhood, this one, early childhood teachers is like a modern teacher or like the updated curriculum. They follow the updated curriculum. So when we say modern, it is today. These strategies are used in today's generation. So... First strategy, we have integrated technology. Okay, when we say integrated technology, technology integration is the use of technology resources like computers, mobile devices, like smartphones and tablets, cameras, social media platforms and networks, software applications, the internet, and etc. There are lots of um, mobile devices that we can use in daily classroom practices and also in management of the school. Um, that strategy, the teacher will be using different um, social media platforms. Like for example, the teacher will allow the students to use their smartphones or to do research on the said topic. So, dali na kaayo sa mga estudyante nga pag himo sila mga activity. When the teacher will going to use this strategy, then makaingon po nga. For example, kita ang student marag, it is really for our own sake nga mapadali ang ato ang mga buhaton, ma mas magdaghan patag mga informations nga magather because we can gather lots of information or kanang mga ideas when we are going to search it sa mga social media platforms okay next strategy is the cooperative learning structure when we say cooperative that means there is a cooperation with between you as a teacher and your students Cooperative learning is an instructional method in which the students work in small groups to accomplish a common learning under the guidance of the teacher. So, there is a teacher, there is a relationship between the teacher and the students. So, not only one student, but between you as a teacher to your students. So, there is a groupings, no? Kaninga strategy Kini nga strategy ang gigamit na to ani is kanang kanang interaction no? next cooperative learning strategies offer the students the possibility to learn by applying knowledge in an environment more similar to the one they will encounter their future work life so when we say future work life that means through this strategy, ang mga students ma-engage sila o unsaon nila pakipaghalubilo sa ilang mga ka-workmates pohon. Through this strategy, makatun ang mga imong mga students o kanang method bitaw nga dili sila mas makafocus sa ilang kagalingon but they can gain more and more knowledge from their groupmates. Okay? Third strategy is the differentiated instruction. So, differentiated instruction is a teaching approach that tailors instruction to all students' learning needs. So, kanang difference, differentiated instruction 
meaning from the word itself differentiated daghan og ways daghan og methods ang gamiton sa teacher para ang mga students maka kuan sila sa goal maka come up sila silang goal within that day maka learn sila but all the students have the same learning goal no we have the teacher we as a teacher we we are going to use different um strategies or methods in giving our instructions but we have the same goal which is to learn mo ni goal na to ang teacher nga mahatag na to properly ang ato ang mga instructions ang ato modules ang ato ang kanang context dito sa atong mga students bisan pag different ang mga pamaagi lain-lain og mga way ang atong gamiton pero we came up with the um with the result which is for them to learn or to get um how, how are we going to say that kanang ang imong mga student ba bisag lain-lain kag mga ways gigamit ang ending gihapon is nakatpon gihapon sila bisan og lain-lain nga mga ways imong gigamit okay so the instruction varies based on students interest references strengths and struggles uh, based sa akong gihatag dira nga example differentiated instruction under that will be the content process product effect so under sa content is adapting contents to students interest so oh, maghatag ka og content or topic sa imong student nag-base pud na siya ang imong student is grade 1 so you will give a content or a topic that they can relate dili kay muhatag ka og kanang topic or instructions or mga activities nga pang grade 5 which is ang imuhang students kay grade 1 so dapat mo connect gihapon ang imong content next would be the process when we say the process unsa man ang imong way nga buhaton para kanang process nga imo ang ay kanang content nimo is mahatag jud nimo og ma-give or ma ma distribute nimo sa imong students kanang successfully so you can use individualized pairing small groups and whole groups so pwede ka nga para mas mainggan niyo ang imong mga sudyante pwede na nimong i-group na nimo sila or you can also use pairing i-pair na nimo sila para mas maganahan ang imong sudyante mao na imong process after the process na hatag na nimo imong content with the process which is pairing you will come up with the product unsa may nakatunan nila anang imong gihatag na lesson how are you going to identify if your students learned from the content that you give oh you can use the product which is to have an oral presentation for example okay class kana from your partner choose one representative nga mag mag report about sa topic nga naa ninyo oh that will be the product you will use oral presentation or, or, or also you can use um videos or writing pwede nimo pagamon sila og mga unsa ilang nakatunan through writing Next would be the effect. Unsa man ang result? Unsa ang effect ana sa imong students? No? Safe environment. Students are free to make mistakes. Students feel what's that? Students feel accepted. Then lastly, positive feedback. Mm. Aning effect man naman sila og nakagive na sila sa ilang idea, sa ilang learnings, sa unsa ilang nakatunan. By the effect, pwede na ka makahibaw kung asa sila dapat nagkuwang. Asa sila dapat na mas need o improvement. You can give positive and negative feedback to your students. By that, nang give ka og feedback, you know the result of the through the product na imong ipagamit nila, nakatun ka, ay, oy, kini si so-and-so, kay ka nang need pa ni improve ang iyang ka nang skills which is dapat mas ma-improve ang iyang pagka maayo manulti. Oh, naasay ka ng talent but we need improvement. So, at least, kabalo nakaasa ka mo lugar as a teacher. Next, strategy. 
is the goal setting. So, involving the children in the goal setting process is an excellent way to encourage them to take ownership of their learning. In the early stages, goal setting needs to be done in a very clear and sim simplistic way. So, kini nga strategy sa mga bata is kanang nindot ni siya nga strategy when you are going to use this kay nga naman imuhang gi, gi set ang ilahang ang mindset sa mga bata nga oy i need to learn a lot i need to to um, study harder para maka gain kog knowledge one example for that when you are a teacher karang teacher ka sa kindergarten for example um just like when i had the experience of giving or um, gathering, nag-gather kong mga bata, nag-teach, and then para sa akong nabantayan, when you are using the goal setting, I am using the goal setting, and ako, okay, if within this um, couple of hours, makatun mo, I will have um, a kanang, na ako i, sa, ta, sa term na, Oh, anak ko, kung makatun mo or basta maning kamot mo, basta ma-end ni nga month nga naamoy makatunan or na ay changes man lang, na ako'y ihatag nga medal, na ako'y ihatag nga regalo. So, by that, I can see, nakita na ko sa, akong, sa mga students nga, uy, murag, makita ni mga murag excited. There is an excitement. Ganahan ni sila musod kada adlaw, buntag sa iyo pa ka, ayo teacher, teacher, o pagali ang time na na sila, not just because of the kanang premio, but the eager to learn. Kanang sa ilabit ang ka-excited, murag makita ni mga, they are kanang willing to learn. They are willing to learn new things from you. Oh. In the early stages, goal setting needs to be done in a very clear and simplistic way. Bisa noono ka ng gamay rin ang premyo, but if the maset sa ilang una-una nga, uy, kinangalan makaibaw na kumusuhat, kay ingon si teacher, basta makaibaw daw musuhat na ay premyo. Ana, dyan ang mga bata, right? So, dapat mas i-muhatag taog motivation, i-motivate na to sila in order to get that goal na imong giset. Okay, next, the cross-curriculum teaching. Cross-curriculum or cross-curricular teaching or the instruction that intentionally applies multiple academic disciplines simultaneously is an effective way to teach students transferable problem-solving skills, give real-world meaning to school assignments, and increase engagement and rigor cross curriculum is same rin siya atong isa ka strategy which is differentiated you can use different um, ways in teaching but you are following the given curriculum diba as a teacher natay gisunod nga mga curriculum natay mga gifollow nga mga curriculum in order to um, apply the knowledge that we are going to give to our students. Like, for example, an effective way to teach students problem-solving skills is that you are going to, kanang, for example, na ipa-experience ni mo sa mga bata ang real world. For example, na uban mga teachers iyang ipagawas ang iyang mga students. At to sa ta, okay, class, let's go out and then let's learn um, colors, o, oh, ato sila sa gawas, o, oh, na, mo point ang teacher, gunsa na nga color, by that, the student is ka na, e, ma-enjoy ang student, makat-on ang student, o, dali ra, ma, masood sa, na, huna sa estudyante, nga, uy, color pink man na, kay mao man na, teach ni teacher, katong niya nga, to sa gawas, dito sa playground, o, oh, by that, ana nga way, sa, or ana nga strategy, dali ra ang pagkat-on sa imuhang, student. Okay? That will be the six um, multicultural or strategies sa mga preschool. Now, 
the common teaching styles in elementary students na sa we are going to move forward to the common teaching styles in elementary students. We're done with the elementary, oh, I mean, we are done um, giving six strategies to kanang preschool students. Now we need to focus on the teaching styles or strategies sa mga elementary students. Demonstrations. No. It is very particular for for teachers to use demonstrations during elementary days, right? As we remember sa pag elementary, most of the teachers, not just most but all of the teacher are going to use demonstration or demons ala, demonstration method of teaching. So demonstration assist in teaching a skill with multiple steps. They engage the audience and encourage audience participation. Finally, demonstrations are a way to engage the audience in a more complete way rather than focusing on simply auditory or visual teaching strategy. So, it, yeah, it is true nga kung mag-demonstrate ang teacher, if the teacher will going to use this style, then the students are excited to learn new things every day. Kaya nga naman, not just the auditory, di ba? Dili lang mag-focus ang teachers sa auditory or the visual strategy, but also they are engaged with the teachings nga gihatag sa teacher. Next, hands-on. Oh, it is very kanang known or also nga, nga ang teacher mag-use og hands-on style. Ang sama ning hands-on. Hands-on learning, another term for experiential learning. Where individuals immerse themselves in a subject to learn. Students learn from partaking in activities rather than passively reading a book or attending a lecture. Right? Kaning hands-on style, it is the relationship between one teacher and one student. It's, it is the relationship between you as a student and also your teacher. It is nice to use this style. Why? It is because kanang, you will be able to um, know what are the problems of your students. Just like, for example, you have a student which is grade 1 and then you fo you are using this strategy of teaching and then you will be able to know why this type of student is kanang lisod niya ang pagkaton an ang butang tungod kay hands on man kaniya naka focus ang imuhang teaching adto niya no? you will be able to know which part is that um, particular stu uh, student asa siya lisod, maglisod, asa siya mas dali. So, it is easy for you to determine nga kanang unsa ay weakness sa imuhang student. Next, the traditional lecture. The traditional lecture method is the method that the teacher impart knowledge to students oral language. No? Lecture method includes telling method, interpretation method, speak pronunciation and speech method teachers use all kinds of teaching methods in teaching mostly accompanied with teaching method oh it is very kanang kano based on the picture given as you can see the teacher is also using the demonstration it can also be hands on diba og Gamiton sa teacher ang traditional lecture sa akong na hinumduman ang teacher the teacher will be um kanabig ganing mag-teach ang teacher niya magsigig lakaw-lakaw anang anang imuang tunga muagi dire muagi sa likod while teaching so by that the teacher will be able to um give the interpretation method speak pronunciation speech method o oh, diba kaning kwan kaning um, style the traditional lecture is more than a um, combination of hands on and the 
um, demonstration. Okay, next is the collaboration. Collaborative learning takes place when students work together in small groups on a shared learning task. Within this framework, there are many approaches that use different kinds of tasks and organization. And its core, collaborative learning relies on the creation of meaningful tasks and engaging group responses. Okay, this style, the collaboration one, is like kanang pariha atong sa preschool students nga kanang the teacher will will have a group uh, i mean the teacher will group his or her students in order to have collaboration mag collaborate ang said groups for example the teacher will group the students into three and then that three students will be able to ideas share their thoughts and perspective about that given task no and then by that the students will learn a lot from the shared ideas with his or her group mates and then the teacher does be able to know one um i mean one idea from one group but the teacher will also learn from the other groups um, wanna see a collaboration the next will be the hands off through hands off teaching you ask your students to distill information from themselves and answer their own questions rather than simply telling students what they need to know you guide them through the learning process okay so kung ganina is ang hands on ang teacher will be able to know or to give um learning to his or her students face to face or kanang ang engagement between the teacher and the students is kanang mas mapadali kining hands off the teacher will just going to um give task to the student and then the student will be able to determine or will be kanang gather or have his or her own understanding about the task. The teacher will not going to provide any um, um, lots of information about that said top about the said topic, but the teacher will just um, wait until the, the student will ask something about the given task, and then by that. The teacher will not just will not going to give his or her idea or answer about the questions asked by his or her students, but the teacher will allow the student to answer his own question. And for example, ma'am, unsay ka nang pasabot sa kanang identify. So, ang teacher mga na na siya sa student para nimo unsay imong nasabdan sa word nga identify o by that the student will going to um, analyze unsa man jud ang identified so the student will answer his or her own question maunay hands off next is oh mura to ang ato ang mga strategies or styles sa elementary students we have First, we have the collaboration, a uh, demonstration. Next, we have hands-on. Third, we have the traditional lecture. Fourth, we have the collaboration. And then, lastly, is the hands-off. Now, we have here the top 10 teaching strategies, strategies to use in your classroom. First, we have the modeling, mistake, feedback, cooperative learning, experiential learning, student-led classroom, class discussion, inquiry-guided instruction, lesson objective transparency, and then the graphic organizer. So those are the strategies nga pwedeng gamiton for you as a teacher sa imuhang mga students. You can use modeling which kanang 
ang ang pasabot ng uh, method is kanang mag-give ka as a teacher og example and then by that given example maka maka learn ang students ana nga given nga model or like kanang maghatag gintay ka og kanang for example sa science subject maghatag ka sa imong students og kanang murag murag bitaw siya tawtaw nga nay mga parts of circulatory system ana by that they will learn through pointing asa man ani nga part ang mang ang ang kana nga kuan kani nga kuan ana so also you can use the feedback oh, kana nga method kay kana you'll be able to know the kanang asa dapit imong student low asa dapit imong student high ang ilang understanding next we proceed to what is teaching strategies unsa man jud ning teaching strategies unsa man siya teaching strategies also known as instructional strategies that are methods that teachers use to deliver materials in ways that students will be engaged and practiced different teaching strategies so kini nga any teaching strategy or also known as the instructional strategies kay unsa man ang mga strategies or methods nga gamiton sa mga teachers like sa ako ang mentioned earlier the teacher can also use kung ang teacher is ang iyang students kay elementary he or she can use hands on demonstrate i i mean hands off demonstration the teacher can also use the um collaboration method so there are lots of ways in order to give your lesson to your students mauna ang mga strategies or ways so unsa man ang kaimportante sa mga ways or unsa may what is the importance of having different or lots of ways in giving your lesson to your students unsa man importante unsa man ka importante nga mag-use ka og different lain-lain nga mga ways or methods para ma-disseminate nimo og tarong ang imuhang lesson first it helps students to master the content of the course right it is true nga kanang kung ang teacher magamit siya og kanang dili na siya naka-focus bitaw sa collaboration nga method for example ang teacher dili lang kay mag-focus ana nga method tungod kay dili tanan students not all your students have the same way of understanding your content or your um lesson Every students have different ways on coping up your lesson. Dili tanan students makasabot o magamit ka method which is the collaboration. Okay, some students there are students who are kanang fast learner and some students have kanang also kanang low learner. Kada bitong dili dali makasabot. Next teaching strategies is important because it helps students to learn how to apply the content in particular context note it next it helps students participate right tasakto na siya nga kung mag-use ka o katong traditional teaching strategy nga you will allow students to participate kanang mo point ka og student okay um Gerald what is your idea about the what is your idea about the said topic okay the the student will be able to give his or her um the student will give his or her idea about the topic no connect and add excitement to the content being delivered right it is true nga if a teacher will going to um, use lots different or any method of teaching it will help the student to um, be excited 
to go to school every day. Okay? Dili man mabore ang student because you are using different ways of teaching every day. No, The student will connect with you and then he or she is excited to learn every day. Okay? It is not boring man. For example, today you are going to use collaboration method. Then tomorrow you will be you are going to use the hands-on method or hands-off method. So the the students is not bored. Dili ma bored ang mga students and okay. Ay, napud ni si ma'am. Ha? So we are it, it is true ba yan na mo ang student mo nga na ay napud ni si ma'am. Kapoy di uganan mo sa next subject kay kanang boring ka ayo ang maestra sige ra man siya og kanang give ay sige ra man siya og kanang basa sige ra man siya pasuwat na mo. Um, nga na di ba ng mga students. So in order for you um in order for you nga maka lingkawas ka ana nga mga incident is maggamit ka og different methods no um one thing before we end this um discussion it is important kaayo nga as a teacher you need to um imo ganing i observe you need to observe your students okay through observation you will know where are you going to asa ka mo lugar through, obser through observation makabalo ka kung asa ka dapit nga part nga mas i-improve pa nimo ang imong teaching kay teaching even though you are a teacher that doesn't mean nga kanang you will stop learning because once a teacher always a student Oh, you as a teacher will learn every day from your students, not just from um from the topic that you are to learn. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for um being able to watch or to learn a new topic this morning. I hope you learned something and I hope you will bear those um, important informations in your mind. Nga, kanang, it is important for you as a future teacher to know these strategies kay para ma-apply sa dini mo. Para ma ma mas malika yan. No? Ang katong isyo nga uy nana po di kumuganahan mo so ano nga topic kay kanang Di ko ganan mo so na nga subject sa, sa next subject kay my teacher is very boring oh like you need to understand well your student you need to know what are the ways for you to use parang ang imuhang pagka teacher is kanang successful okay thank you so much and god bless you